Welcome to the project demonstration of hand gesture control uh, robots. So in this project we are going to controlling the direction of this robot from this hand gestures using MEMS accelerometer sensor. So the communication between the two modules is RF communication. So based on the tilting of the hand, uh, the robot will be controlled forward, backward, left, right and if it's the, there is no tilting or there is no bending in the hand, then automatically the vehicle will stop movement. So here coming to the transmitter section. So here we have interfaced the MEMS accelerometer that is MEMS uh, ADXL 335 sensor to these two comparators. So these two are the comparators LM358 comparators and output of these two comparators given as input to this ST12E encoder and the encoder output will be given as main input to the transmitter pin of this 433 MHz RF transmitter. The whole system at this glove end is getting power supply from the 9 volts battery so from the battery we need to connect the 9 volts battery here and once the 9 volts battery is connected there will be a 17805 regulator so on this regulator so it will uh, take the 9 volts input and provide us the constant 5 volts DC power supply as it is a 7805 regulator so once it's provided input 5 volts to the encoder transmitter and LM358 ICs as well as to the MEMS IC so it will uh, indicate it to the LED indications when we tilting forward one light on right left backward so respective side respective light will be indicated same data is a digital format for example so light one is on so this is called as one remaining are zeros so one triple zero this data will be sent to the 4 bit encoder of ST12E and it will transmit the same data to the through this RF uh, transmitter so here these potentiometers are used to set the sensitivity nothing but if I bend this like for, for, for direction purpose like this only then we need to set the sensitivity or if you want to detect at this point then we need to uh, decrease the sensitivity so we already set the points so then need to touch these four potentiometers for the four directions and once the particular one triple zero data received by the RF receiver so at this green color is the RF receiver and it will receive the data and that particular data will be given to the here ST12D decoder IC so from this decoder IC the data is given to our PIC 16F72 microcontroller at the pin number of B1 to B4 and so the controller will decode the data and check with the program instructions and based on the data bits for example 100 I am sending 1000 received by this microcontroller and it will indicate as forward motion then it will control the robot direction movements with the help of L293D motor driver so here L293D is a motor driver which can uh, control two DC motors in bi-direction purpose means if you want to rotate the vehicle in forward direction so then these two motors will rotate in forward direction and if you want to make the movement to the left so then this particular is backward and this particular motor is forward then it is left rotation so again same right also this is backward and this is forward so for backward both two motors are backward rotation so in this flow the input to the output flow will be controlled with the help of this microcontroller and here the L293D motor driver interfaced at C0 to C3 pins and next the at the receiver end the whole system powered with the help of this 12 volt 1 amp battery so as you can see this battery pack consists of three 4 volt 1 amp batteries are connected in series so in series when we connect a batteries in series the voltage will be added so v1 plus v2 plus v3 so v1 is 4 2 4 3 also 4 then the output voltage is 12 volt current also same 1 amp and which is a rechargeable battery so we are providing the 12 volts to the l293d motor driver on the L293 motor driver there we can see one 7805 regulator same it will provide the same 5 volts power supply and from this we are going to provide the 5 volts power supply to the whole system and again this is the main on off switch and as we said this is a rechargeable battery so this is the charger so in order to charge a battery we need to provide the 230 volts input to this transformer the transformer output is 12 volts AC sorry 12 volts AC as it will take the 230 volts input it's a step down transformer so there is this one is the db107 rectifier so which will convert the ac to pulsating dc and the output of this pulsating dc is given to the input to this 1000 microfarad capacitor so the capacitor will 
uh, remove the pulses and it will provide as the constant DC without any AC ripples and that voltage given to the at this B section for this battery. So we need to connect the B at this B section and T at this transformer T section. And then if you switch on the power supply to the transformer, so we can see the light indication on the charger, right? It's indicated as the battery is getting charging. So it will take around of 8 to 10 hours. Once 8 to 10 hours is completed, then you can disconnect the battery from the charger and you can execute the project. So for that, just uh, first of all, the main important point is all the steps. First of all, connect the battery and then with the gloves, check for the directions whether they are uh, working properly or not. So right, now we can see, no indications, forward light is on, backward light is on, left and right, now right. After this confirmation, keep the hand in normal position and switch on the robots. Now let us see the demonstration. So we should follow the these step by step. Connect the battery first. Right. Thank you.